Well, the Seattle Tattoo Expo is back after a two year hiatus and the fun kicks off tomorrow at the Seattle Center. The Expo showcases top tattoo talent from near and far and we are joined now by one of those artists, Nathan G of Rain and Forest Tattoo in Portland. Thanks for coming up from Portland to see us. Thank you for having me. We are so excited to talk about this. Tell me what happens at the Tattoo Expo. I'm imagining like thousands of needles buzzing at the same time. Indeed. So there is a <laughs> more than 200 tattoo artists uh, in nationally. There are some people from Texas, from New York, or Seattle. They're all coming all one place. Wow. And then we perform in Seattle Expo. Do you get inspiration from other artists when you're there walking by and like seeing different techniques? Definitely. That's why we go to Tattoo Expo to see more explore more peoples. And because individual tattoo artists, we have all different backgrounds. Yeah. So we learn each other. So we tell people this is better idea than this. So we increase our skills and do better work. And art, because it's really mm -hmm. art. Let's take a look at some of your tattoos that you've done, some of this work. I mean, that's just beautiful. Uh, how did you get started in the industry? What made you decide that being a tattoo artist was your calling? So most of the tattoo artists, our background is art background. Mm -hmm. So uh, my background is paint art, painting, so yeah. fine art. Wow. So oh my goodness. So why don't I just start to the tattoo? It's just a different medium. So uh, um, that's how it started. It, it is like you're painting on someone's yeah. arm. That is incredible. Um, is there a design though? Do you do people just kind of come in and say, do your work, or do they ever ask for things, or is there anything someone asks for that you say, don't do it? It depends. Uh, I would say name tattoo is <laughs> name. I would say don't do it. Okay. It doesn't matter the reason behind it, but I would say, I mean, I would say mom dad or my son's daughter yeah sure but okay y yeah okay don't do it just don't don't it can don't be painful in more ways than yeah. one um nope. okay all right so <laughs> what are some I, I i was wondering i don't have any tattoos when my mom passed i thought mm -hmm. about getting one on my ankle in her That's memory nice, please um where is it most painful though to get a tattoo it actually depends on people okay but i would say the place that you're just talking about. Okay, so right where I yeah. suggested, maybe not. <laughs> it's a little bit sensitive. Okay. Or your head is also very sensitive area too. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Don't get a tattoo on your head. Hmm, probably not. Okay, not all right. Good idea. What are you most excited for at the expo this year? So, as we all know, because of COVID, we closed since yeah. 2020. And it is the first time after COVID happened. So every single one of us, we are very excited to meet each other's and we just looking other tattoo artists and they just talk about, yeah. hey, what did you learn past two years? And then we are all coming to Seattle, which is a very uh, artistic city. It's a creative place. Yes. Oh, well, we're so glad you're here. I'm so excited for some new ink people are going to be getting out there. And the Tattoo Expo, it runs Friday through Sunday at the Seattle Center. There are food, drinks, tons of live music, even tattoo contests, which is a thing. So go check it out.